wasn't supposed to rain. And it's raining pretty good. And uh, first five miles, my trip is on dirt roads. We'll see what happens. It's, um, it's two in the morning. Here we are, 5 a.m. It's still raining. Hmm. Okay, it's 5.45. About to leave the cabin. Actually, here's a look at the cabin. The cabin that I'm so fond of. It's pretty cool. Two beds. AC blue cold. Nice little bathroom in there. Nothing... Nothing special, but, you know. But. So, it just stopped raining. But I don't really have much of a choice. As soon as it's daylight or very near daylight, I'm on the road. I have um, the longest day without question. Um, I'm going to be doing 84.3 miles. I just don't have a choice. Housing is very difficult, so I actually am not going to have to camp in someone's backyard. Thank goodness, because it's going to be another really hot day. And um, that's not uh, that's not fun for them either, because uh, they said they have a full house. I mean, I'm sure I could probably find some other option, but I found a really nice bed and breakfast that is 10 miles further north, which is why I'm pushing into the uh, mid-80s. Um, the first about eight miles of this trip is, is probably a gravel road. I looked it up on satellite and it looks like a gravel road. So, um, that's not going to be fun, especially since it has rained at least four hours last night and just recently stopped. But if it's gravel and not mud or not dirt, then that makes a big difference. And even though, um, the, the roads are going to be really poor, um, I need to trade cool hour for extremely hot hour, especially when I'm doing something in the 80s. Um, I'll stay hydrated. I'll put as much sun protection on as I possibly can. And I'm just going to get it done. <clears throat> Off we go. Two point two miles already, and the Garmin didn't turn on. Get all those bugs, please. Every one of them. Every one of them. Well, this is a good place to stop. Nice little tree. We got a nice little bench here. Right on the side of a uh, plow, on a plow field, something. But uh, 40 miles in, I got 42 to go, so I'm at the halfway mark. Weather looks great, and uh, looks like it's like I got off the road just in time to miss dodging this big boy. Big wide load. You guys tell the difference from here and here? No? How about from here and 
here. That's right. We're in Kansas now. Goodbye, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, you have absolutely redeemed yourself. That Highway 81 for a cyclist, even though it was somewhat busy sometimes, an incredible shoulder going all the way from Texas all the way up to Kansas, almost up to Kansas. I'm actually on Highway 281 now, which has marginal shoulders, but um, very low traffic. I'm excited. We're finally in Kansas. Go, uh, I go a day and a half north and then I'm west, west all the way to Pueblo. And there are no trees. This is how you get shade. This is how you take a break. Get your water bottle. It's 92 degrees, heat index um, says 94. So I, I guess it's drying out a little bit. But uh, going slow, got a long day, drinking a lot, only 22 miles to go. All right, I just reached Medicine Lodge, the town. It's very tiny, it's very hot. I packed up my groceries for the day. And I got 12 more miles to go, so I'm just gonna suck it up and um, go get it done. I've already done 70, 72 miles already. So I'm, I'm looking to get this thing over with. I take that back. This is a nice cabin. Not the other cabin, this cabin. This is where I'm staying tonight. This is what I am talking about. What a gorgeous place. Jeez. These guys know how to do it. What an incredible place. Why didn't I stay here two days? Jeez. Yeah. This is gorgeous.